everyone, I'm Annie from reallypetite.com. On today's video, we are going to wrap up the wardrobe essentials series with part three. So whether you're petite or not, there are some wardrobe essentials that everyone must have. I've already done part one and two, so just in case you haven't seen those videos, here's just a quick recap. Part one was a tailored pant or skirt suit, a pair of black classic pumps, black Chanel flat purse, a little black dress, and a pearl necklace. In part two, it was a pair of nude pumps, black pencil skirt, taupe or nude handbag, black skinny belt, and a flower or vintage pin. So let's get into part three, shall we? First up is a white skirt. I know some people have reservations about anything white because it's so easy to spill on and very hard to care for. I personally love wearing a white skirt, especially in the spring and summer. Here is my favorite white skirt and it's from Theory. Looks like this. This is a double zero and it fits me really nicely. All I had to do was just hem the length. The second must have is a pair of perfect fitting jeans. Before blogging, I could never find the right pair, but thankfully these gap legging jeans have saved me from having to wear kids jeans, which by the way, do not fit right, but it was the closest thing that I could find. Here's what it looks like and I love them so much that he even bought a backup pair. Next is a white blazer. Some may not feel comfortable with a white blazer, so you can replace it with a tan or khaki blazer if you'd like. I like both choices, but it's whatever you're most comfortable with. Yes, white blazers can be bold and hard to care for, but I just love them. I haven't found the perfect one yet, but here's the one from Loft that I got last year. It's just nice to throw over a cute top and some jeans for a chic and easy look. I recently got into statement necklaces and statement jewelry and I'm starting to really love them. Nothing says bold than a pop of color from a beautiful necklace popping out underneath your blouse or dress. Or maybe even a statement ring. Here are some of my favorite pieces. This one is a coral necklace from Amrita Singh and also the turquoise one on the mannequin. You can also find some really cute and very affordable pieces at Forever 21. Last is a pair of nude or beige sandals. I have been on the hunt for the perfect pair and have yet to find it. If you wear pumps all day to work, it's just nice to kind of give your feet a break on the weekends and slip into some cute wedges or sandals. Here's an old pair just to show you what I wear. These are from Nordstrom's and super, super comfortable, but I'm kind of looking for something a little more on the strappy side and with a lower heel. I got these from Ann Taylor during their 40% off sale, but still debating whether or not I should keep them. I'm sure there are other great ideas to add to the list, so possibly a part four. If you have any suggestions, I'd love to hear them. Please log on to reallypetite.com for the blog post to this video and for more info. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.